I watched Saltburn. Oh. It was dong? That was real. Drinking the bathwater? Bro. Gulp, gulp. 2024, we're in. Happy New Year. You have new hair. Oh, I have new hair. You have new, new hair. New year, new hair. If you're listening to audio, he looks like Takashi69. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. All those tattoos, too. This is wild. Yeah. I, dude, I took a week and I just really, I just really just felt who I was and I just, uh -huh. I just did it everything. I did it yeah. everything is and, what I said. Yeah, and you spelled house over your forehead in tattoos. <laughs> but cool. that's not how you say it. Uh, <laughs> house. Hush. Why were people eating grapes on New Year's? Women were eating grapes under tables on New Year's for good luck. What does that mean? Why wasn't I eating grapes under a table for New Year's? You know what's crazy? I gra kissed a woman on New Year's. You did? I kissed a you woman. You know what's funny? Me too. Was it me? We were, yep. We were in the same place. We made out with a lady in the same place. Are we asking about brothers, sorta? What does that mean? What? When you're in the same room Are and you're you making out with someone. the girl that I'm doing the intercourse with? Are you doing the intercourse with her? Hold on. I hope. Intercourse. Intercourse, what intercourse, class is that? Appetizer, intercourse. Nobody heard me. Intercourse, what class is that? I think you missed mine too. I did. <laughs> <laughs> we need a live audience. Yeah, we do. I'm sick of it. Where's Jack's CTES? You know what Jack's password is to his Mac? Insurrection. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I think he just hits his head on the keyboard and then it just enters in. We're only being mean to Jack because he's still in Philly. Yeah. We're here. We're back. We're ready to work. I, you know this. We don't yeah. like the break. Hate it. Hate the break. Santa Claus, kill yourself. <laughs> no, don't, don't know. I mean, now you know what I mean. <laughs> Speaking of that, is the Santa that we interviewed a couple weeks ago, is he doing all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, you, he's you don't like, think he's bagged out from the holidays? No, no, he's doing great. He's doing great. He's the type of guy that if I knocked on his door and I went into his room at eight in the morning, I think he'd be drinking a Yoohoo. Does that make sense? Dude, I had like, eggnog just, the other day with alcohol in it. No. <laughs> I'm no better than that guy. No. <laughs> you know? No, no, no. A eggnog is a very unique thing to me because eggnog is like, I can do four sips of eggnog and I'm like, is this the best drink in the world? Yeah. And then that fifth sip, I'm like, this is wildly disgusting. Yeah, you can't do a round two on eggnog. That's crazy. If somebody does a round two on eggnog, pat them down for anything metal. Yeah, they're on a list and it's not the <laughs> Christmas one. All right, my boy. So we don't like the break. We don't like the break. Can we just get back to work? <laughs> out of the office, you're out of my life. You're fired now. Yeah, it's been... Uh, Give me ticket count. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's... Here's the problem. It's like... Uh-oh. Right when I feel like I'm starting to mellow out, yeah. that's when it's like, all right, we got to be back. Yeah. Because let's say, let's say everybody kind of from the 22nd on, maybe what, eight, nine days, they took some time off. And around like day three, I'm still working. I'm, I'm fucking editing on like Christmas Eve. I'm Jewish. I don't know what else to do besides clips, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I finally start to settle in. And then I was like, oh, wait, work starts in a week. And now I'm back in. It's yeah. like, so it takes me a few days to settle out. And then yeah. I just ramp back up in. Yeah. I can never, no, I, I, I can, I can mellow, but I have moments of like sitting on a couch, embracing a woman and be like, I don't have that. I need to get on a first. Peloton. I yeah. literally did that. I was sitting there and watched like two movies in a row. And I was like, give me on a fucking, I got to do a thing. I, yeah. literally, I was like, hey, listen, this is nothing against you. I just, I, I got to do a thing. I, just, can't, I, just, I yeah. can't. Just a thing. A thing. Dude, I, yeah, I walked into just working out of my tonal for like no, I, I worked out twice in one day and not, and not being like, that's when you know you're jacket. losing it in life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two a days. Two a days. Talk to God. Two, yeah, but two a days. I'm not in high school playing varsity <laughs> football. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it is, it is like, I like it and I'm getting better at just being like, hey, man, let's just, let's just hang out. Correct. Just, it's good. But the shitty part is I have to justify it by saying this is good because my work in the future is going to be better. Everything yes. has to be rest framed is, like that. No, I, I, I hear you. Yeah, rest yeah, yeah. is a part of the creative process. Yes. Dumb. But um, yeah, I, I, I see both sides to it, you know, but after uh, here's what I did this year, which I thought was a great I made content around the holidays. And then I, it was like a five minute video. And then I just pieced it out to be three different things. Yeah. So I'm like editing as if it's a regular work week and I'm right. just dishing out content during the holidays. Yep. And I was like, oh, this kept me busy last year. I don't know what if, if I was doing that, but it, it kept me busy. And it also um, gave me something to do and like something to like slowly like post out. Yeah. No, it, it, you you have to. Uh, I think that's the best way because it's like it is you're still in. It's in a weird way. You're like it's still in the Christmas spirit, but you're still doing work. Correct. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Because had I been putting out anything not Christmas related, people would be like, why are you posting this? Shut yeah. the fuck up. It's holidays. A GameCube but, video. Yeah. Dude, it feels <laughs> insane to post anything that's like not like just be like oh, your boy who only eats Cheez-Its. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah. What does this have to do with anything? Kiss someone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I don't know where back feels good. Uh, and then in a week, I'll be, I'm so fucking tired. But yeah, today's, I, 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 I just love fucking when everything's going, everything's firing oh, off. Woke up, emails. Thank God. Yeah. Can you send Finally. me? Yes. Good. Been, been ready. You know what's funny? Five minutes into the emails, I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, Come it's on, never. Bro. Dude, you know, oh God, this, I'm, I'm the king of this. I go, all right, I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. Start this week fresh. Yep. And then I don't have a good sleep. Don't. Terrible. Why? Don't know. Is Helix still a sponsor? No. Then why the fuck don't ugh, I need one? I don't know what I need. But like when I woke up this you morning. Don't like, you don't like your mattress? I do, but I, I don't oh. know. Like when I, when I didn't get a good sleep and I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Dude, I had a, a Charlie horse. Oh. A my Charlie sleep, horse? Bro, if D'Amelio? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. The middle of my night, I'm like grabbing onto my leg, like I'm trying to do like, like a jackknife into a <laughs> off the high dive. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. Like I'm like stop, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop. You're, you're what is that? During sex? What? Yes, I, I have had that. both of my feet during fucking. What? Both of my feet. Both your feet were out of order. <laughs> Yeah, it was in the... Yeah, like, isn't in, that in hilarious? Between, like, what is that? I don't know, but stop it. Yes, yeah, stop. I want to eat a banana. I'm trying to fuck. It's, <laughs> Can you imagine you start eating a banana while fucking? That's a great visual. That's yes. low-key a threesome if you think about it. Yeah, I don't know, I think me. a high-key threesome. <laughs> But it might be a plantain. Small dick joke. Guys, we're back. Oh, 2024. There, yeah. there it is. Yes. <laughs> that's not that's not a great reaction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was processing. I didn't know plantains were smaller. Yeah, yeah. Plantains are tiny, but huge. Um, I don't know if you guys heard when I was talking about this like five minutes ago. I saw movies. Multiple movies. Hold on. The one, no. the one movie I, I watched. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. one movie I watched oh, yeah. to completion, I watched Saltburn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, did you see it? Yeah. Did you see it? Saltburn. So here, okay. Dude. Give it to me. Here's the thing. I if I watch a movie, I either want a belly laugh or I want to watch something super artistic with great cinema and I can leave there being like, I'm a better filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. I really liked it. It felt like I was on a giant melatonin dream or like I took too much NyQuil PM because it starts off normal and this isn't going to give spoilers. Oh, you just shut the fuck up. Yeah, you You guys listen to this show. You're it's not watching Salford anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> but... It starts off normal like any movie, and you're like, cool, now some dude's dicking down the dirt, and, well, there's a, there's a man getting jerked off. And I then mean, you just wake up, and you're like, cool, did was that in my dreams? Was that real? Where'd the hot guy go? I will say, first of all, who is that? Jacob Lordy? He's getting dick down. Jacob Lordy? Lordy? He is my lord. Dude. This guy would get it. The the way that they filmed like, the first like 30 minutes of that movie, I literally was like, Maybe I'm bi. Like, I understand. Bi, I'm like, full gay. That yeah. guy is hot. And he's Dude, just like... Drinking the bathwater? Bro. Oh, yeah. Bro, that scene... Gulp, gulp. Dude, that scene was interesting. All right, listen, we're not going to give anything away, but I really have to tell you guys this, because just to give you any, any context, and I'm sure there's people that are listening to have... Well, yeah, if okay. you're going to see it, spoilers, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Just say it in the next I'll give, 10 I'll seconds. I'll give no context. The, uh, the, a, a gentleman that was obsessed in some capacity to another gentleman saw the guy jerking off in a bath, and he came to completion in the bath, and once the water was going down, my man jumped in the bath and started drinking the water. Yeah, first of all, he was going straight off imagination, no phones. Bro got that prison jerk off. He was in there. He wasn't jerking off to anything. Oh, yeah. No laptop. Wasn't it in like 2006, though? Yeah, I don't think there was funds. No, there True. was because they would like text him and be like, hey, meet me by the studio. Yeah, but like I think that, they were doing yeah, like no key erasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah but there was like times they forgot what technology. Like, they're like, it's 2006, and the guys were on like a laptop. Like, it felt like I was like, mm, I don't know if they had that back then. They I, had laptops. No, in no, they, they did. They did but they Listen, like, guys, <laughs> what are we coming at Trevor all 2024? No. <laughs> what are you, my fucking Charlie horse? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What I was going to say is, can all right, so, all right, let me hear your full review, by the way, before I jump into mine. Uh, was I, that was I, it just like go sorry? It it felt like one of those movies where you're like oh and here is very clearly the end point oh there's more oh right it's gonna end right here oh there's more it felt like they spent if it, it felt like the last like ten minutes of it or like maybe like fifteen like the last chunk was like sped up it felt like they spent all this time building 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 and then they're like and here's what happened yeah that makes sense yes. do they always do that sometimes. I think they do. Well, it answers all the questions. I, 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 well, what do you think? So, I, I globally liked the movie. Globally, like my my overall <laughs> feel. Fuck? My overall feeling. We're talking about film. You here. liked it when you watched it in Uganda, huh? You say globally? Yeah, like a global feeling. Okay. Am I crazy here? Thank what, you. What, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't look at me and be you like, a global is normally. But like, I'm globally horny right now. 
I mean, not no. I don't think you say. But like, you know, but if you're if you're looking at if you're looking at like a cut of something, right, of your own, and you're like, my global note here is this. It does. The more you say it, the weirder it sounds. You my say global my big picture, note, my big picture, big picture, my big picture. Big picture fits. Okay, my big. So same thing. My big picture <laughs> feeling of it was good. Um, I okay. No one behead me here. I think the script needed work. I think they undermined the entire intelligence of the audience to last like five minutes. Didn't need it. We we knew. We knew. Um, and also, I wanted to know so much more about the, the you know, I don't want to give anything away, but the crazy person. I wanted to know way more about him. <clears throat> and they didn't divulge anything. Correct. Like, he was the most fascinating character by fucking far. Mm-hmm. And they spent, they just, they didn't, they didn't make me care about him at all. And that's why I kind of like when there's like psycho characters where you're kind of rooting for them for them in some way, way because you know they're like, it's like the Joker thing. It's like the Joker thing, right? You know his whole backstory, so you're like, yes, you don't want him to do bad stuff, but also you're like kind of in some weird way rooting for him. Mm-hmm. But there's no way to root for him at all because we know nothing about him. Yeah, and maybe this is just like an artsy film thing, but like when they just end it and the bad guy wins, I'm like, whoa, I thought every movie had a happy ending. I like when bad guys win. Really? Oh, You would make, say that. Yeah. Burn yeah. it down. I like it. Burn it down. Well, there's a lot of logic flaw at the end. Like, like, like cops pull up and you're like, oh, they're just good with it. No questions here. All right. Whoop, whoop. We're good. Oh yeah. yeah, like that, that, that that's where the logic in my head in movies doesn't tr- like track. When I'm like, well, clearly, huh? What do you mean? Like, when the police show up and nobody questions the the fucking nuts guy, you know, and they're just like, hey, all right, your son, your son, ba da pop pop. Listen, the, the, well, the the whole thing was was so fucking weird. And guys, if you want to, I'm gonna say something. Just cover your ears if you don't want to hear the spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Everything in that family was fine until one change happened and then every, the whole family fell apart. No one was like, what's what's weird here? What right. Is, what's different here? And that's what I'm talking about. The script needed so much work. And I found out through a friend that this person who wrote the script literally has said a million times they do first drafts and that's it. Really? There's Why? no notes. There's no... It's, I, I don't, I don't know. Dude, I want that in life. Here's my brand deal video. Boom. Hi, so we actually had a few, no, no, no notes. First Wait, round. There, there are, you go. There are people that exist in this world and there, I'm sure there's companies that would, that would be like, okay, with you. Yeah, where it's yeah. like, nope. And Oops. then you go, and then they, are you going to have that battle or take the art that's good? I, that's true. The, I just, I, I, it, it, I, I, again, I liked it. But there were there were like weird things where like if you look back at it, you go, yeah, this is a first draft. Okay. Yeah, it felt like they spent a lot of time setting up the story. Then the end just happened so quick, and I was like, uh, oh. And they just told a bunch of stuff at the end, and the whole time I'm like, hey, we know. Also, if you don't know, read a blog, but don't sh- don't don't show. I just I hated that part. That was I my hate- only literally my only problem with the movie was just explaining everything that he did in in the sort of. Uh, montage voiceover, but yeah. the actual ending scene, him dancing through the house. See, I'm an idiot. I like stuff I like love that. that, dude. That fucking shot was crazy. Also, his dong. One shot. That was real. That was real. It wasn't prosthetic. Yeah. Uh, anyone else go see it with a, with a lady with a significant other? Um, I, I I watched it with my girlfriend, and uh, I was not... I was expecting her, you know, uh, Jacob Elordi to be like, oh, man, yeah, he was so hot. But no, she's... Uh, my girl, Barry and Barry, uh, Barry Keegan, is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, More into him. Yeah, so I felt a little insecure. Um, for the for the next day or so. No, you know? but you're hotter than him, so it's fine. I don't know. Nah, you are. He's schlonged up. He oh, is, no. dude. He is, dude. The he's Irish be schlonging. Well, no. I I don't know if that's the the common theme. I, I'd say so. Really? Maybe. I I, I don't. I, I, I know thought, like one Irish actual, person, and I heard opposite. he's packing. So I don't know. I thought exactly. What's his name? Is packing? Do you ever see a sex tape? Who? Uh, who's the the uh, Colin Farrell. I thought I wasn't going to get that. Colin Farrell. Mm-mm. Racked out. Can you say that for a guy? Don't care. Racked, Racked out. out. You get cacked out. <laughs> Cocked up. Cocked up, ready to mingle. Uh, Do you ever yeah. seen a sex tape? No. Sir. Sir. You've seen every sex tape I think ever out there. Most famous people's sex tape. Because like someone will say something and I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing, right? Looking mm. at someone's famous dick. Dude, famous dick is, is mo- most time it's nice. 
You think? Did you see uh, Paris Hilton's sex tape? That guy's slacked out. Oh, God damn. <clears throat> Michael Blaustein stand-up comedy tour 2024 coming right to your mother effing door. Guys, tickets are going crazy. January 25th, Dayton, Ohio, sold out the first show. We added a second. Those tickets are already going. January Dayton. 26th and 27th, two out of the four shows already sold out, and the other two are very close. Go get tickets. February 9th to 10th, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm so freaking happy for those shows. Those tickets are going crazy. February 22nd to the 24th, Ontario. February 28th, the first theater of the mother freaking year. Minneapolis. Minnesota, those tickets are going. February 29th, I'll be in Milwaukee. Uh, March 1st to the 2nd, I'll be in Chicago. March 8th, listen, New York City, go grab your tickets. March 9th, I'll be in Atlanta. And listen, many, many more dates in 2024. Go to blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. Trevor Wallace, me. I am doing comedy in Salt Lake City, Miami, and Lexington, Kentucky in the new year. Uh, they are in the later half. They're in May, June, and July, shortly adding more shows. But, hey, give those tickets now because those will sell out. Uh, much love. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. Watch my special. Prime, Pterodactyl, Amazon, Bezos. November 14th. November 14th. It's, <laughs> you know, <laughs> watch it on November 14th of 2024. <laughs> Amazon Prime, Bezos. God damn. Prize picks. picks! They are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. DFS. Ask your girl see DFS. Down for sports. Or sports. Prize picks is the most fun I've had, literally, bro. Up to listen, you can win up to 25x your money, bro. This football season is going crazy. I'm racking up the freaking money. Basketball boop, boop. season is here. So excited, bro. You can now pick combo projections across football and combo basketball. Oh, the number one. And honestly, this is why we freaking love it, dude. So instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, dude, you can pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in, dude. It is so simple. Even freaking Trevor can do it. What does that mean? They don't know sports. Oh, true. So go to prospects.com slash socks and use code socks for a first deposit match up to $100. What did I just say? I'll tell you, dude. Go to prospects.com backslash socks and use code socks for a first deposit match up to $100. That's insane, okay? So if I put in $72, what are they going to match me? 72 Up to 100 baby. Yeah, baby. Prize picks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. God damn. But yeah, but hey, hold on. Let's take a step back. I know we're like... Siskel and Ebert in here, but let's just get happy that you watched that? the film. I watched the film. That's what I'm saying. I felt artsy as fuck after. I'll tell you what, the next day I was cleaning my room, and for whatever, it was it was like pretty late. I was about to go to sleep because so I was just doing laundry. So I put on just like relaxing, like film, like not film music, but it sounded very like score, like what they use in movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, everything I did, I felt like I was in a movie. I yeah. like put up a t shirt and then I held on to it a little longer, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. The scent of her lingers. Like, it, it, it's fun. Yeah. You ever pretend you're in a movie? All, yeah, all the time. I, yeah, I said it amazing. Dude, I, I pretend I'm in a movie, not all the time, but like if I'm in a long hallway or I'm in a parking garage and oh, I'm like alone late at night, yeah. I just pretend I'm like 007 and I start looking around and shit. I put myself in like weird emotional uh, situations, really, realistically, yeah. just to see if I can do it. Music does everything. If oh, we have the frick. same conversation right now that we're yep. having and you put the right film track under it, the right score, you can make anything sound so sad. Yeah. You'd be like, dude, my dog just got back from the vet with the wrong music. Uh-oh. Bark, bark. She's done. 100%. It, it came back taxidermy. It's dead. Tax Would you taxidermy GB? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. She's going to sit in the front seat of my car <laughs> all the time. Yeah. My wife's going to be like, can we move her? No. Get in the back. I'm your Uber driver. <laughs> um, I, I am, dude. I'm not, I, I, no, there's no way, man. There's no fucking way that... When that happens, first of all, when that happens, you guys will never see me again. It's over. It would cost Off of Marriott. Five grand to taxidermy GG. Good. I'll do it twice. I'll give a shit. <laughs> this is surprising to me, though. It takes six to eight months to taxidermy an animal. No, not when you, really? not when you do it uh, Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you November just, 14th. <laughs> November 14th, Amazon Prime. Special. Dude, just fucking put it in a freezer and then put some uh, flex, flex a seal over it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'd probably do it myself. You would do it. Like Dude, that. if you I feel ever like came into there. my apartment, you haven't seen me in three weeks, you can't get a hold of me, you come to my apartment, and I'm just taxes on me, Gigi. What are you doing? You know, I'm grabbing a camera, we're making an A24 film. 100%. Wow. Yeah, but I think you could, I think you could probably, this is so wild, but take Gigi out of it for a second. I think you could, like, definitely learn how to taxidermy uh, an animal over on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably where it happens. <laughs> it probably does it with a gopher. Would you taxidermy? Little Plute? Yeah. Nah. Come on. It would just make me too sad. much money. 
No, it just oh. made me sad to see him as a whole, but not moving. Yeah, but he still looks happy. Does he? If you make him look happy, I make you do a big ass smile. <laughs> yeah, I nah. would do some. I don't know. I, I don't know. Get like. A, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I do? I cut you's head off and put it on the wall like I like I like an elk. You sh- you, you, like I did it. Oh, they, and then put it above your head. Yep. Headboard. Headboard. Did I say that right? You know what's the hottest thing ever is when you're going to the sex town and a woman is. What holding, town is that? It's where you uh, put it in the p the p and the v. Holy How shit. far is it from Flavor Town? Flavor Town? I mean, the it depends on if you're going downtown. Okay. Oh fuck! Downtown and Flavor Town. Wow, going to Pound Town? They're going downtown to Flavor Town. You pussy tastes good. <laughs> twenty twenty four New Year's resolution. Uh, when a lady. My, oh, I have a bed. <laughs> Stop there. I have a bed. Guys. Cool, man. Very I, cool AI <laughs> robot. <laughs> I have a bed that has uh, b- bars on it. It sounds like a jail. Jesus Christ. Bars? Yeah. Bar? No. Like, like I have a head, headboard and a, a footboard that has like like metal, like black metal, like b- bars. I don't like know. Slats? Like slats? Uh, they're not slats. They're like, it's a metal bed frame. So it has like, po- like poles. Oh, yeah. You know so what? it's like see-through. Yeah. I don't. How do you say that? I think that's right. Yeah. All right. Whatever. But nothing's hotter. But then when she's in the the doggy burrow and she's holding the visual of holding onto the mm. fucking the slats whatever the fuck on the yeah. headboard, fuck white knuckles. Whoa! God damn it! <laughs> it's so hot. Yeah. And it's, what do you think it is? The fact that the grip, or the fact that maybe it looks like there could be a jail scene going on. I POV. think it's all of it, dude. I think it's all of it, and it's like a, bl- it's a. My bedroom's like black, so it's like you know, I like it's like emo ish. I don't know why, like the mm-hmm. visual of like the black metal woman holding with her like, you know, like hot woman hands. Do you like women's hands? Am I a weirdo? Well, yes, but uh, yeah, I think they're great. That it's not my my sexual preference. God, I think it's so. I, I'm in the extremities. I like a good soft hand though, lotioned oh, up, yes. lathered up. Yes. Yeah. Sm- women be smelling good. Feels like a goddamn paintbrush dipped in cocoa butter. I like that visual. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Please do. I've been. That's what the point of the podcast is. <laughs> You've been what? You've been, been what? Say it. I've been in indulging in coconut oil. Big pause here? I, is I, uh, just everywhere? Sorry. Lather up. Nothing. Can it go inside you? Uh, it what do you, can go anywhere Does it not fuck it up the sheets be. after? Oh, my sheets are done. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> it is. It smells like an almond joy in there. Oh. <laughah> Good. <laughs> um, still got it. <laughs> 2024. I still got it. Um, it's my dad's favorite candy. And Halloween, when I would get all my candy, he'd go through and be like, oh, don't worry, I'm just going to look for the good stuff. And then you take all my almond joys. I'm like, yeah, good. I don't give a shit. What's the difference between Filter almond joy and a mound? They both suck. Okay. But no, it's one just, is, a, it's one is an, an almond. almond, right? Yeah. Oh, Bro, I'm dumb it, shit it, it, almond joy does. I was a little about to ask. L- almond joy. Almond joy. It's literally the most mid candy in the world. It's not. It's Bro, I was eating Fritos, the, 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 the barbecue ones last night. Oh, yeah. I the saw honey your, twist. Yeah, yeah. Dude, how... Did that like imagine coming out with just normal ass Cheetos and getting that off, or Fritos and getting that off the ground? And people are like, yo, these are a hit. The original Fritos, do you, does anybody like those? They nope. taste like like hot water. You like them? They're you only a feet. vessel for bean dip and not just yeah, no, 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 you have to, no, you have to dip it. I, I'm not, I'm not, I would still eat them solo to be fully honest. I'd still eat them solo. Yeah, I mean, it's but, like, but the, the dip, if you go like a nice like spinach artichoke dip with the Fritos, bitch, Fritos are the yellow starburst of the chip pack. Uh, Somebody. Oh, like I the variety pack. Yeah, yes. the variety yes. thing. Yes, yes. yes. I agree. Yeah. Like I the agree. variety pack at every office, at the end of it, is always just what's Fritos you, and Lay's Plain. What's your favorite chip Dude, in I, the variety? I, I, honestly, I like Cheetos. They fucking just hit every time. Wow. But I, I, I will say, you I mean. Like the, Cheetos over Cool Ranch? Ooh. Yeah. Cool Ranch, number one. Then it goes sour cream and onion. Then it might go Cheetos. Uh, I'll go. Yeah, probably Cool Ranch. Then. Cheetos. You know what I love is a good garden salsa. Bitch, you're from, right. From who Sun them bitches? Chips. Sun Chips. Sun so Chips good. garden salsa go hard. Yeah. Uh, Dude, but like the, the the Fritos, the honey motherfucking twist ones. Yeah. I mean night and day. Someone told me after I posted that, because I said something like, make this man the CEO. Because like imagine like coming up with the original Fritos and then the guy with a fucking massive hog one day goes, yo, smoky fucking sweet barbecue. Fire everybody. Well, that guy had peyote and then came back and was like, what about this? I have a vision. Yes. Like, dude, he probably blew the roof off that company on a Monday. Somebody told me 
the guy who invented hot Cheetos was a janitor for the guy for Cheetos. Yeah, there's a whole documentary about it. Really? On Hulu, I think. Is he bagged out? He's got to be. I mean, unless he didn't get F-U-C-K'd in the biz. You know how some people come up with massive ideas and someone go, cool, I'll give you five grand for it. And they go, awesome. And yeah. then it becomes like a conglomerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry Gordy, I will say. Oh, this is crazy. LA Times is saying he didn't actually, the guy, the janitor that claims he invented the Hot Cheetos, he didn't actually do it, but he did get bagged out just by going around and speak, doing speaking gigs talking about how he was a janitor that invented Hot Cheetos. Wait, I'm going to do it. What? <laughs> That's I'm going to do it. actually a big janitor thing to do. What's that Goodwill Hunting where it does it on the whiteboard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I invented the Hot Cheetos. And I was like, dude, you're crazy. And he's like, they're crazy good. Boom, billionaire. Billionaire. Yeah, so he, so he just like concocted the story. First of all, smartest janitor in the world. Concocted a story, then just walked around just doing that. Did I ever tell you about my janitor in middle school, Mr. Hughes? The guy who kissed you? <laughs> no, that was <laughs> my uncle. But our janitor at lunch, dude, he was this jacked dude, Mr. Hughes. And if you threw trash or you were acting up, he put you on trash duty. And then you had to leave the table. Like one time I threw a milk carton and then it, like I just feel a hand on my shoulder. He goes, you're on trash duty. So during while everybody was eating at the tables, you'd have to sit in isolation at its uh, at like his little yeah, stop yeah, yeah. right up front. And then when people would go play, you'd have to go up and pick up trash. And you'd have to scrape gum. Oof, yeah, I scrape, I scrape Bro, so much interns. gum. I mean, I do. I scrape so much. My, my disciplinarian one time, I was in detention. I was always in fucking detention. Disciplinarian. And you say nutrition is white. I mean, it's equally as white. Nutrition is... Cr I, I still... Disciplinarian? I will never get over it. Disciplinarian. What's their job? What the Discipline? private school, dude? I don't know what the hell... Yeah. Yeah, but but that's a you whole thing. You went to nutrition. You didn't. You didn't have fucking recess. That's why you guys. I hand coordination sucks. No, we had recess, but like a small amount. Pieces, pieces. <laughs> See, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> um, what did they say? Oh, so during uh, uh the what Cold is it? War. Fucking yes, Russia. Um, what is it? Detention. We had a sweep up. Jerk? Oh, we had a sweep up. And the the disciplinarian, the disciplinarian would like assist for some odd reason. This motherfucker would eat fries out of the and just to like prove masculinity in some weird way. We thought it was cool as shit. Well, like this guy doesn't give a fuck. Fries, old. Fr he like, wait, eat fries out of what? The trash? Out of no, dude. At like out of the the shit we swept Ugh. on the ground because we would sweep. Like and the, then he would eat the them? lunch room cafeteria. He would and eat he, them. Yes, not all of them. Bro, it's the same diet as a dog. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, probably worse. But he would do it on some like, what's good? I don't give a shit. I'm a disciplinarian. Honk and eat it. And we'd all be like, what? What? We thought it was the coolest thing ever. What now looking fuck? back, it's a little weird. Isn't that funny? What you thought was cool growing up? Now you're like, how did I ever think that was cool? Yeah. I mean, I thought olive suits were cool. I wore an olive suit to homecoming. Saltburn. They wore olive. They did. Everybody was coming in that bitch. Oh, in the movie. It's all burn. Oh, yeah. I think everybody got mm -hmm. off. What? Uh, real quick, one bit, and then we'll get back to the oh, yeah, coconut, coconut oil. oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. What did you, because the one scene that everybody was like nuts over was like the 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 sister and then the, the mouth shot in the water. Did you, did that do anything for you? The mouth shot in the water? Remember he went down. Mm -hmm. Went down. Oh, Vampire Man. Yeah, and then in the <laughs> water, it had the shot, and then it showed, like, the blood on his mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. What'd you think? I thought he ate her out and had blood on his mouth. Yeah, but, like, no, no, like, oh, gasp. No. I didn't find, any, like, any, nothing in the movie, like, like, it was obviously there was stuff that was shocking, like, 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 banging the, the grave, kind of shocking, but I also thought that, like, it was, like, this is gonna sound crazy. I thought it was, like, kind of sweet, like... He loved him. That you was know? sweet. It was like this desperate kind of no, yeah, love, yeah, yeah. You know, and that, like the 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 grave thing was the only thing in there that I was like, bro, this is. I've almost, I've never, not almost, I've never seen something this, like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what the word is, but like this, like feeling I've never yeah. seen before. Yeah. yeah. Um. But the Wouldn't whole he, like the whole like eating out the blood or whatever. Guys, I'm so sorry you haven't seen the movie. Wait, None but, of this but, is going to make sense. But why would he off the man if he was so in love with him? Uh, I think that's the... that's the He loved him so much he had to... Yeah, I mean, my I don't think that my take is necessarily true. I do think that, like, he 
he was obsessed with status and wealth and with what this place represented to him. Uh, and ultimately that was more important to him than his love for this guy. But I think it's like, you love him so much you want to be him and you want everything that he has, you know? And so it's like, I don't know. It was, I mean, it's fucking weird, but like, I didn't. I think love and infatuation is is pretty close. Mm. So I think like he was, he edged, I think he was going back and forth between like, I love him in infatuation. And it's like, at some point you realize that like, this relationship that you fantasize you guys will kind of be with you guys will be together in this uh in this world he realized in that moment that that's not going to happen so now he has to like move past the infatuation and and i would uh, rather still have this place correct than any, yeah yes hmm. um but i but i that that scene where he like went down yeah i mean i was it was that was a lot burrow's horned up i mean he was Horny. That house had horny tension to it. It, it. it looked very quiet in there. There was no like white noise machines, no ceiling fans. No, just like, ghosts. Alone with your thoughts, you're gonna get you're gonna get horny. You're gonna get skirt, 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 skirt. dude. The butler walking around, <laughs> clean up on aisle three. Come in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some tension floating in there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> God damn. Big shout out to our next sponsor of the mother freaking episode, dude. Hello Fresh. Buddy. Hello. With Hello Fresh, you can get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep, okay? Skip the freaking trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Whether your resolution is to save money for 2024, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello, HelloFresh, hello. to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like delivered right to your door. Ask me if I like cooking. Do you like cooking? Freaking hate it, dude. Freaking oh. hate it. But I will tell you right now, with HelloFresh, I actually thoroughly enjoy the pre portioned ingredients. I feel like a freaking chef. Dude, sometimes I just go like this. I sprinkle some stuff on. I don't even know what I'm doing, yeah. but it feels good. It tastes good. I, I mess up on meals all the time. I've never once messed up on a HelloFresh meal because the ingredients are amazing. Idiot proof. So, I mean, it's fun because if you're by yourself, you got leftovers for the next day because each meal is about for two people. Oof, yeah. Or if you're on a date or you're with your lady, you got meals for two right then and there. It's a great way to add spice into your life. Now you can say, Hello to HelloFresh. It gives you something to look forward to when you get home. So go to HelloFresh.com slash socks free and use code socks free for free breakfast for life. You huh. didn't miss hear me, bro. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life, dude. At HelloFresh.com slash socks free with code socks free. God damn. Speaking of tension, dude. Coconut you oil. Got, you Spoilers act, over. Buddy. You like you. Here's like, spoiler. You came. You have to. You have. It's. It is. Everything is just slip sliding. Everything is just like I talk about wet, wet. Everything is wet, 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 wet. Just every, every part of it, and it like the has, nooks and crannies. Yeah, but yes, but like everything, like a, everything is hot. Everything is but just afterwards, aren't you? Like I feel like a Seven Eleven taquito. Hundred percent. Okay. You you feel like a you feel like you're about to be an egg. You feel like you're a frying pan about to, someone's about to put mm -hmm. an egg on you. And then you just fine. go to sleep. No, but that's why you have a shower and that's why you have a washing machine for the sheets. It's fine. So are you doing like because this was like the first kind of like porn I can remember like being interested in was like literally fucking oiled up like yeah. e everything's covered Crazy, in oil yeah. like slippery. It's like a holographic porn. Y yes. Hey, <sighs> I would say I would say th that was like my vision of it. Yeah. But through execution, it was maybe like, I would say like, if that's 100% fully, I would say we're looking at about maybe 40%. Does it have any benefits on your skin? Like the next day, were you like softer? I don't know. But de but but definitely coconut oil is it's probably not bad for your skin. Um, but yeah, so maybe you can like consistently use it all the time. It'd probably be like making it making a little bit of glow. Fun. Um, but, it, but it was just like, it. I mean, you've used lube before, I'm assuming, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like. I think I I'll just I'll talk to myself. I forget how good lube, lube is. Like it is un it is literally for me it's like night and day. Like everything is just ready all of the time. Mm -hmm. There's no like obviously even with lube you need to have a little warm up session. We all know that. Right. But like everything is just like it's just like sex ready. It's so fucking hot. Mhm. Mm are you not on board? I with just this? feel like I feel like you'd be anti lube because I feel like you're like Mr. Do It Yourself. You're Mr. IKEA in that puss. 
Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, sort of, but like. Yeah, but, but, you know, like, aren't you that, like, I made it wet. I did this. I made it fucking slip slide. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But I, no. Really? I, dude, I, it is. Okay. Here we, okay. I'm, I think I'm a mix because it wasn't just like, let's dive what, in. What, part Yorkie? <laughs> Twenty twenty four still got it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still got it. I don't know. If, oh, oh, you're a mix. I'm a mix. A little bit of a little bit of. You're like an Arnold Palmer in that pussy. Yes, I start with lemonade and I end with ice dick. You pee on her. Yup. I'm losing it. So, I am too. I lost it when we first started the Arnold Palmer thing. But uh, I start with the IKEA. I, I feel yeah. I get it ready. And that's your whipped cream on top. Yes. And then you make the cake. Here's the frosting. Yes. I'm the chef. And then just dude, imagine going to somebody's birthday party and they have a cake with no frosting. It's just the bread. I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not a big frosting guy. I'm not a big frosting guy. What? I mean, sure. But it's just yellow sponge cake with candles in it. Yeah. You not you wouldn't be like Oh, this is well. Normal. I would look at it and be like, okay, there's obviously some, Cake domestic, has alopecia. some domestic violence happening in this household. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a sane household, right? But yeah. Um, but anyways, dude, you you got like this is the this is the 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 like evolution of our relationship. I pitch something, you're like, it's fine, and then I just want to talk to you in six months when I finally force this down your throat. Where you go, all right, let me try it. <laughs> what are you forcing on my throat? The coconut oil. You Good. just for me. Yeah, I'll try. Just it. for me, you like I was wrong with the feet. You don't like the feet, but I was right in some other ways. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, with you, you just, <clears throat> just try, it's, it sounds messy, and it is, but it's like a hot messy. What kind of s sheets do you have? White, just normal satin, cotton, linen shit. This more, yeah, normal cotton. Here's the thing, though. Um, one of the coconut oil sessions, I did a little wash, wash, no stains. Sessions. The second, well, dude, everything's slip, slide, and slip. You can yeah. do sessions. Oh, hold up. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but uh, but the second time I haven't I haven't washed them and there's no have you ever put like well I use baby oil jerk off so sometimes I have like <laughs> I have like oil like like stains I guess do you but, really but, uh, I mean I have to wash the sheet they go away bro I can't wait to go in there with a black light and just see what's going on in there it's gonna look like the ceiling of a Rolls Royce <laughs> yeah I mean worse but they'll be like constellations it's terrible <gasps> anyways but it but it was it was it and it smells nice. It was, it's so hot. And you could give like a massage. Or it's fucking hot. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, you yeah, feel yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. massage and then you're fucking, but you're also massaging. Yeah, feels like limitless. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Look, I, I know it's hot. People people have been pitching it for years. Who was yeah. the dude that had the sex tape? Jay Alvarez? Yes. Was it coconut? What was that? You think it was coconut oil? Wasn't it? Man, Talk what, about it. They poured it out of like a tea kettle. I don't remember. It was like warm or something. I didn't make it through that far. Hey. They fucked like three minutes and I was like, I came <laughs> immediately. They're both so attractive. Jay Alvarez, where's he? Fucking. Yeah, it has to be. Just bagged out somewhere. His name just sounds like a performer name. Like you, you like you're born with that name, you're like, oh, okay, cool, famous. Yeah. He just sounds like a, a Latin singer. That, yes. That like we don't super know, but then he he goes to like wherever and and just like Venezuela and just like mm -hmm. forty thousand seats. Unreal. Unreal. Bad Bunny got a big ass dig too. What are you looking at, Gabe? Oh, I was looking up. It, it was coconut oil in the J. Alvarez video. God, it's so. Maybe weird. that's where you got the inspo. <clears throat> you got inspired, or you, or you got the like, I'm gonna do that. Maybe, but I, I've seen. But I've like I'm on board with what Gabe was saying. I've seen different porns where like, people are all lubed up, and I'm like, I need to try that. Mm -hmm. But it, the the Alvarez thing for sure was a big inspo for that. Also got a sex pillow. Anyone else? What? Sex pillow. You that have one. you have a what sir? For Christmas? What is a sex pillow? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Google this. What is this? Santa jammed the shit down the chimney? A sex pillow? <laughs> Bro is turning his room into a BDSM sanctuary. You got prison <laughs> bars, you got a sex pillow. That this will Bro. This, no, 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 Wait. no. no. Oh, no. You, you guys can yes, that's the one I have. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Dude, it, you can just you put it, you put in different positions, man. And it puts Sounds people great. in angle. Oh, Dude, it is like that angle right there. You see it all the way right? Dog. It's what the hell? <clears throat> Dude, but I'm telling you, bro, that's that's also an amazing position. It puts the lady in a position 
and, and, and comfortably where they can just sit. I mean, dude, no? You're yeah, just, it's insanely hot. Yeah, Where'd you get it? Amazon? No, I went to a sex store. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. <laughs> well, you went to a sex store, broad daylight? Bro- Hi, I'm Michael Blaustein. Can bro- I have a fucking cheese block pillow? Broad daylight. Bro- with with a lady or by yourself? Yeah, yeah with, with a lady. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you got to go yeah. with a lady. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, they were like, the woman that was working there was so, I mean, I guess you have to be like not weird, mm-hmm. like not weirded out by like what's happening because everyone is doing that. Yeah, she's a butt plug in. Uh, yeah, yeah, she answered it. She, <laughs> but she was just like, what's what you guys are looking for? Like she was just so helpful and we were just being so open and then she was just being like, oh, well, I wouldn't do this one. I would do this one and blah. Like it was like, she was like instantly a. Uh, yeah, it'd be weird not, if she was like insecure. She's like, yeah, I don't you know. What I mean? yeah. Ooh, ooh, this one has balls on it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cooties. And she just ran away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was the. Uh, yeah, dude. Is it inflatable or is it nah, cotton? It's, like, um, it's not inflatable. Where do you keep it after? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Geez, I was just going to say, you probably put it somewhere fucking fried. You probably either, one, sleep on it so you can smell it, two, <laughs> sit on it in your fucking booster seat in your car. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way it's in a normal... The man has left the room. There's, there's, oh, there's no fuck. way. There's no way it's in a normal <laughs> place. Fucking there's booster no seat. Way. Oh Dude, shit! You, you know what? You probably use it as like a squatty potty type thing, don't That's you? That's not a bad idea. Please, please, please idea. Dave. Where do you think it is? It's. I think yeah, it's somewhere near Gigi. I think it's it. It's got to be like somewhere near the crate. Yeah, I, I for sure think you. Well, probably what happens? You keep it like just like near your bed. You're like, I don't want it on the bed, but I'm gonna put it next to the bed. And then you walk in there some mornings, and Gigi's just fucking bro. It's gonna be somewhere fried. It. Please tell me where. It's not super fried, but you guys are like right. <clears throat> you guys know me really well. It so Gigi's hush is right next to the bed, like next to the bed, and it's a you know big crate, whatever, and it has a little, nice little blanket over because she's a parrot, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and 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 yeah, and it just it just uh, it just sits right on, on the crate on, on top, top of it? it on top of the crate. <laughs> But I, but I will say it's a little it's a little camouflage because the blanket that I use for Gigi is like this like like black blanket, and then the the sex pill is black. It's like the same on okay. the same fabric. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's not like there's something on. T- it like yeah. kind of looks like it's part of it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's just it's just there. Does she think that it's nighttime in her crate when you like like a bird does? I think she does. Yeah. <laughs> I think she does. Is For the, sure. Is the sex pillow washable? How do you wash it? Yeah, it has a little, uh, it's like a pillowcase. It has okay. a little, little pillowcase. Yeah. Dude, I'm, t- I'm telling you, like, I know that you guys are on board, like, in your brain, like, like uh, verbally. It, it, it's so, it just change. it just changes. You hit angles that are just not, you can't do unless you're like a Russian gymnast. Does it come with instructions and positions you can do? Um, it, it doesn't to. come with instructions. It like it. There's some like, like there's a like fr- some, Hello Fresh bag. Yeah, some illustrations like a little paprika. <laughs> but there's some like illustrations on the front of it. Yeah. To like like kind of starter positions. But yeah. there's whole there's whole fucking videos which I uh, 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 I haven't done. But I would love to do a little like, it. a little deep dive into like what. Oh, you diving deep for sure. And, oh, but that's what I'm saying, bro. You can get deep. Damn. Yeah, you can get deep. You yeah. can get Submariner deep. You can look at the goddamn hey. Titanic while you're blowing up. <laughs> Sperm. Yeah, I'd be down to try it. Dude, you have to. It's fucking. You want to borrow, borrow the pillow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're oddly expensive. You're like, well, this is a thing, pillow. They know because they're selling to horny people. Horny people will spend money. Yeah. Oh, it That's also. How strip clubs work. Dude, it also. I didn't tell you this. Bluetooth. The, it, Warms up. The, oh, I would love that. Um, I'd love it a little hole you could fuck, but n- none of that's real. <laughs> The the one I got one side has like it is like shaped like this so you can rock back and forth. What the hell? And the other side is normal, but it, like the one side is like training wheels or like if you get tired or something. But it, like it kind of helps to it like literally goes like this. It just yeah. rocks back and forth. It's kind of cool. I, I we actually haven't tried that. How much side was of it? it? I think I think it was like I think it was like a hundred bucks. Yeah, but you can do this with regular pillows, right? It's just not as good. Yeah, yeah, you can. But the problem about the regular pillow is it's like it it sinks. Mm. This is like comfortable, but it doesn't. It's like comfortable but firm, and it doesn't mm. sink. And it's like it's shaped like a wedge. So you saw like what you can yeah, like the yeah, angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she can like she can put herself in a position, and she's like super comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah, but dude, now do, like, you th- do you think you're gonna have to use that every single time? Like if you're on the road, what are you bringing that shit? No, no, no. We, I, it. I mean, honey, I we're prob- going to Hawaii. Bring the pillow. I mean, you sleeping on on the flight. <laughs> I think that. Uh, no, it's like 
The the quick answer is no. Like there's so many times, not so many times. There's been enough times where like no one is like, let's grab the pillow. It's just like we have normal non-pillow sex. But it's like a nice little like, hey, let's switch it up. Mm. It's dude, you I highly, highly, highly recommend. Coconut oil, sex pillow, oof. Got a cock ring. My life's in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? I, I'm curious on your thoughts on it. I tried it once and it just it made my whole body shake and I got nervous. So the, we, we, I, I don't talked, think I could stay. We've talked about this it. before, um, and we both had the same sort of like resolution on it. Where like I guess the ones that you and I bought not together, but it was like small, like it fucking it like was hurting my dick. Whole, mm-hmm. But this one, the one that was chosen, I shit you not. I can't believe I haven't talked about this yet. I shit you not. The, the lady and the woman that worked there, like, were like, oh, this one, how about this one? And they picked one, and they're like, oh, this is, this is like the, it was like Goldilocks. Like, mm-hmm. she was like, this is the one that da 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 And I'm looking at that thing, and I'm like, I hope that I got enough girth for that. Because it looked wide. Uh-huh. What are we talking, like a Livestrong bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire, dog. You are on <laughs> Thank fucking you. Thank you. fire right now. Thank you. I love boobies, bracelet. What are yeah, we talking about? I mean, about? dude, I think I feel like I'm ushering this episode, and you're just coming with haymakers. Oh dude. no, no, no! I'm, I don't even know what the fuck I'm drinking over here. A long Give me energy. one. <laughs> you want some? Sure. It's Kim Kardashian. Here's the thing. This is probably the Kim biggest. Kim Kardashian. The biggest perk about being an influencer is energy drinks just show up to your house. Yeah. I don't know how you got my address, but I'll take it. And then I'll inevitably drink it on a camera somewhere, and then their marketing person can be like, see, no wonder we sent Trevor or Alani by Kim K. No, I don't know. I mean, I don't care. We got sidetracked here. So I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, I swear to God, I don't have, I I look at it and go, we're close. Like, we're close. Uh, So we got back, and I'm like, I I, would take it out of the wrapper, and thank the fucking God. It, was it adjustable like a snapback? I I fucking wish because I was one notch. One size dicks all. One it, I, I I dude I put it on, and I was like this, barely fit. But like, it does. It does. It's it's a there's enough girth there to like keep it on. Yeah yeah. But like it's like a watch you buy in college, just like the biggest head yeah, you yeah, can yeah, buy, yeah. and it's all sliding around. Dude, it was like it wasn't sliding around, but like we're almost there. Yeah. And. But it's like I'm f- like, like if we're a hundred percent hard, it's 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 all it's on. Okay, it's on. But mm-hmm. if you go if you go down, you know sometimes you're like I'm a hundred, I'm ninety four, I'm eighty nine. Now I'm back up to a hundred. When we go from a hundred to ninety two, that bit slip sliding. Yeah. It's like I mean it's I'm not shitting you, bro. It's like it's like almost that plus like the vibrator thing. And so, but how does it, does it work well? Yes. It feels, I didn't think- On I, you? Dog. I didn't <laughs> think I was going to like it. I thought I was like, oh, this is for her pleasure. You put it in your ass. You're like, That's, wait, this is for you. Buddy, we've done all, a lot of, that thing has seen the, some some places where the sun, the sun doesn't go to. You put it in your ass? I mean, on it. On it. My ass was like, Table ah! for one, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, it was, yeah, yeah. But it, it is, it's, it's really, it's fucking great. But again, I didn't. I thought it was like, oh, this and is did it for- help? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it. We're live. To the moon live. We're Fourth of July. We're or, sorry. We're fucking New Year's Eve at midnight. Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Great. Solution. Yeah. Salute. Shun. Salute. Salute. Salute, loot. That's my cat, loot. It is. Gigi. Cat, cat, vagina. Whoa, pussy. So, uh. Wow. Yeah, it's been a. That's I, great. I can't believe we haven't talked since all of that happened. I haven't seen you Like, in I two mean, weeks. on the like on the podcast, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Saw the sunset last night, yesterday. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you a person? Human? No. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, it, just, it, uh, Micah, it does it every night. I mean, but I'm saying, like, I went. Uh, to do it where'd That's you go isn't I'm it all... funny it's a free show every night yeah <laughs> you know I pay nothing well it's six bucks park the park yeah where were you beach yeah Santa Monica yeah the grass the grassy park over there uh no it was like actual beach oh yeah and you watched the sunset yeah on the beach it was nice 
And what'd you say when the sun was setting? Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's some fucking lovey dovey shit. Yeah, that's that's the, so that's what's so funny about the way that I'm like, the way that I'm configured as a person. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, huh? Globally. Yeah, with my global, <laughs> my global, uh, you know, perception of me. Yeah. It's like it is like a coconut only fucking hold the bar. Yeah, put it in my ass. And I'm also like. Can you grab the corner of the blanket and just here we go? Did we get enough? I don't enough? want any sand. Yeah, yeah. No, like, sand did we, on the sandwiches. Did we get enough? Did we get the right fruit from Whole Foods? We can go back and be like that. It's yeah. so funny. It's the duality of a man. Duality of a man. And some people don't have. They only have one side of that. Yeah. And there's like if you're only two, if you're only two, like oh, did we get the right in the grapes? And we never found out grapes in New Year's. Oh, we and then she's like, God, I love him, but like I wish I had some like fucking. Uh, and then she yeah. cheats on you. But then if you're two, like ooh, 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 alpha, alpha beef turkey for breakfast. Yeah. Then she fucks the nice guy at the office. The guy yeah. who wears a sweater. Listen. So so what what Me. we're saying. What we're saying is... You're the perfect man. No. What we're saying is no one's winning. Everyone's getting cheated on. No, because you got to fit both. You, you bring the alpha, but you also bring the beta. Yeah. I'm perfect. Is that, what you're, is that what you're saying? That's what I literally just... I'm trying to help you out. Thank you, man. And I'm just like too alpha, and that's my problem. Dude, I have, I have, I, everyone's like, how's Trav like in person? Yeah. I'm like, dude, he's just like, he's really nice and funny, but like he's too alpha. Just too alpha. Like it's just like you walk around, you like yeah. fight people all the time. He turns a steering wheel with his teeth. It's really weird. It's, you don't even need mm. to. Yeah. yeah. Well. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. The grapes. Uh, grapes under a table for like yeah. good luck in the new year. Yeah, each grape represents one of the months of the of the new year. You gotta so, eat twelve of them, bitches. Is it, but is this new? Is this always been going on? Is this no, like this is like an old old tradition. Some Every cultures new year's? is under the table um, at the stroke of midnight. In Ireland, though, instead of getting under the table, they open the doors and windows so you can let out the new year cold. or the old year and let in the new year. Too cold. Oh, under right. the table is nice. You get head. Do you, guys, <laughs> do you guys do that in beer pong? In like high school, if you trolled, you didn't make any cups. You had to sit under the table for a full game. No, but that's so funny, dude. We did. That. Did you you know about that? No, but I knew about everybody it. Everybody did, did that it. for where I grew up. But like, yeah, you don't make any cups. The whole next game, when there's other people playing, you have to sit under the table. That's so literally great. just like a cat, just in fetal position. And everyone's like, ha ha, troll! Like, I imagine trying to get pussy that night. No zero. You're not. Like, no girls gonna. Make, oh, I, no, I oh, fuck the troll. I topped off the troll. But I don't. You, but yep. But. Do you know how cool and hot you are if you were the troll and still? Yeah. Like well, we have a redemption. You go, let me let me play another game. And then you still don't make cups? Dude, you <laughs> won't get laid for two years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the bar is low in high school. You make like the you make that game winning cup and then you fucking dap your boy up. Or it's like, oh my bike. There is nothing. I wish my pussy was a red solo cup. <laughs> There's nothing. I mean, yes, the answer is yes. Is there something more fun than beer pong? Of course. But it's like it's in the top ten. If you're like on fire, oh, like with your yeah. homie, and you're just like running through Dude, people, even when you're playing with a hot chick and you're just pulling the fucking weight, and you're oh. like, nah, I got, it, I got it. Or like you shoot it, she bounces. You're like, are we in fucking love? Yes. You get game plans. Ah, uh, you bounce, I shoot. Uh, 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 and then go, and then you go. Oh my Dude, that was like, oh my god. But when you make that last cup, I'm like, I start looking around. I'm like, is anybody filming this for ESPN Top yeah. Ten? Like, is anybody? The fact that Puma has not signed me right now is crazy. Oh, the noise it makes. <laughs> Oh, my and then everyone freaks out, dude. The, but the, running the table like ten games in a row, holy shit! But I will say that tenth game, I am, I am very good at beer pong when I'm like a like sober or like maybe one or two games, three games. When I start getting like drunk, I'm the opposite. You know, people get drunk and they get better. Mm. When I get drunk, I get worse. Oh really? But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I just feel like after a certain point, I'm like, all right, I'm done here. Like, I just mentally I'm bored. I'm like, uh, three games in a row, like, I don't want to be home. Oh, really? The hot chicks are leaving. <sighs> well, if you've been running the table, like, all night, which I would never was that guy, but, like, I'd have a friend who, him and his team would be on there, like, literally all night. And I'm like, what? You're not bored? Yeah. You well, do this? It's so fun, dude. I can it do is. it all day. But, I, but I'm saying after a certain point, you're like, oh, I'm missing the whole party. Yes. Because uh, eventually the group's around you, and then it kind of diverses and, like, separates. You're like, no, I want to I wanna mingle. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big like I, I enjoy having something to do during the party if that okay, makes yeah. sense, and not like having to walk around like hey boo like that whole mm -hmm. I guess mingling. So so being like that person gives me something to do, and then also puts you in the center of like attention. Ah. So then you look around, you're like hey, you talk to girls like in, okay. the, like, in the game whatever. So yeah. that that's what I always that's what I always fucking absolutely love. Dude, I had a beer pong table in my like apartment, just always set up. We practice with water just yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, just boards, Literally, why not? Yeah, just oh my god.
Yeah. God damn. This show is sponsored by none other than Better Help. You know, everyone listening and watching, that we are massive proponents of therapy. It has helped me through traumatic times. It has helped Trev through times. We have found happiness through therapy. And what better service to use than better help to find your therapy? Listen, it's 2024, okay? That should be on your vision board, happiness. And it's very convenient. You know, everybody's on the move. 2024, we outside. Well, we can't say the word. Uh, but now it's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule because it's all online. Listen, I took a month off from therapy and I was like, I am better than this. I'm not. I'm hopping right back in tomorrow. I was like, oh, I'm busy during the holidays. And I, and I wish that I took more of it. I, because my therapist was out of town, so I switched to BetterHelp, and golly, it's just so much easier. They're always there. No goddamn office hours. They're ready Traffic. for you. Traffic. Traffic. Gone. Traffic. Looking for my chapstick. Yes. Different kind of car stick. Say Different it. Ford Maverick. That's what I'm saying, dude. Where I went wrong before I started doing therapies, I, I let these thoughts in my head kind of like build up, and I was like, you know, and I, I never talked it out, and then those ended up just pissing me off, and then I talked it out, and every single time, whether I think I have nothing to talk about or everything to talk about, I always feel better regardless. I've never left therapy being like, just, cr just bomb for an hour. No. So celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash socks today and get 10% off your first month. You heard me right, buddy. 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp.com slash socks. 10% off your first month. Go find joy and happiness in 2024. We love you guys. God damn. Uh, did you guys hear that uh, Gypsy Rose? I don't even know who that is. It's no a idea. pretty insane story. Uh, this girl. <gasps> I I do know this story, but keep going. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. So this is a story about a girl named Gypsy Rose. According to her mom, she suffered from leukemia and muscular dystrophy. Oh, I do and, know about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of these problems, but it turns out that the mom was suffering from this thing called Munchausen's by proxy, which is an- Ooh. Munchausen's? Uh -huh. That's what I've been doing to- See, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the name of like the Keebler elves. The uh, Munchausen's are out. <laughs> but it's this, uh, it's this mental illness where you sort of start projecting that someone that you care about is really sick wait, and has the, all these wait. illnesses that they don't Ooh. have so that you can take care of them. So her mom wait. convinced everyone that she had all these illnesses and was younger than she was. So she was actually an adult woman, but her mom kept changing her birth certificate, like forging it to make it seem like she was still underage. Ooh. Huh? Dog, can I just say one thing? And maybe we're going, the, the worst thing, this is all horrendous, but the worst thing to me is that the mom got the daughter like 15 surgeries yes. that she didn't need. Yeah. So this was like this from the jump, like even when she was a child? When she was a baby, right from the jump, her mom claimed Ooh. that she had sleep apnea. When she was eight years old, her mom described her as suffering from leukemia and muscular dystrophy and said she required a wheelchair and a feeding tube. Oh, yeah, the feeding tube thing. But she didn't need me, any of this? She didn't need no. any of it. She was and the mom healthy. was doing this because this disease makes you want to take care of a sick person? It's it's really complicated, right? Just like play I the don't fucking Sims, you whore. Or, I don't know if I could. Well, <laughs> yeah, no respect to her. I think you can say yeah, whatever you okay. want. Yeah, bitch whore. <laughs> but like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I got, I got. <laughs> but like, yeah, like I don't. It's pretty complicated. I don't know if it's because like you like the attention that you get from like, oh, you're such a great mom. Look at like what a good yeah. caretaker you but are. It's like Neopets. Um, or if I wonder if it's like the like somewhere connected in the brain the same way you talk about like we talk about cute aggression, right? I almost wonder if it's maybe tied somewhere to that where it's like. This thing of like, I love like taking care of something sick or something that needs me. I think it, ha I think it has to do with some of that, but I also think it has a lot to do with like, you're not leaving me. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. That makes a lot of sense too because of the fact that she kept changing her birth certificate so that she she's would never be. She's yeah, she's, she's always a kid. A kid. She's a kid. What? Um, um, so what the? F and, and, well, also, what what state is this in? This was in Arkansas. Well, they they went joking, from no Louisiana idea. to Missouri. Okay. Well, also, LMN I, just, I just OP. would like to say this. The, how many surgeries? It was like, it wasn't two surgeries. It was like 10. Not one time was a doctor or a mother effing surgeon being Bro, it's like- Louisiana. Oh, they got yeah. paid fucking Bojangles to do this shit. A hundred percent. It was a crawfish doing the gotcha <laughs> surgery. Um, but no, like that, she kept having to find new doctors because doctors were like, this isn't, some yeah. of them did do the surgeries, like did this, but she kept having to. But they didn't like call the cops and be like, this lady's insane. They're like, no, nah, she's good. I guess so. Yeah, she I mean, also there's, apparently. There's too, many, there's too many professionals that this woman had to talk to that to get these surgeries it, it something's weird because uh, not one fucking doctor was like, this woman's off the rails. So. When did she realize that her mom was controlling her life? And then at what age did she 
So I think it, off her and, and 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 how did she? So I think that there was a couple. Well, so here, just a little more context. Shout out Zach just texted and said that um, the mom was in jail when Gypsy Rose was young, and so she developed a huge fear of losing her. I guess, which could mm. maybe speak to the psychological thing of why you would have this. But um, I don't rem- I don't remember the specifics, but there was one point where like she let Gypsy Rose go to like some kind of like a convention or something where she met some friends and tried to escape like young, like maybe like early teenage years. Yeah. Uh, sorry if I'm getting the timeline wrong. Um, but what? her mom caught wind of it, stopped it. What was the mom in jail for? Do we know? I don't know. I can try to find out. Um, wow. But um, the eventual way that I think that this went down was that um, she, she met a guy online, uh, kind of be- had an online relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend with some guy Rumble? who- was like, I, I really, I'm unsure where they met. Um, maybe Facebook. This guy is obviously like pretty clearly troubled because she goes like, hey, I want you to murder my mom. And he's like, cool bet. But when did she know that her mom was starting to be like, okay, I, I don't, like when did she know that her mom was controlling her? And then she's well, like, bro, right. she put her in a wheelchair and she knew that she could walk. Really? Yeah. That's gotta be like, crazy. Like muscular dystrophy, if you, t- like you can't, I'm sure there's like uh, variations of it, of course, but like, you can't really walk. So she was in a wheelchair. And she was telling her she had it? Yes. Knowing and she's that like, she Mom, could Mom, I walk. can literally do jumping jacks. And she's, 100%. Watch me do the limbo, huh? Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, so... Okay, so it seems like she... According to statements, it seems like she kind of knew something was wrong for a long time. Because there, there was an interview where Gypsy said that for 14 years, she wasn't sure of her actual age. And her mom was being really weird about, like like cagey about it and said, oh, yeah. your birth certificate got destroyed in Hurricane Katrina and blah, blah, blah. But what would she do for her birthday every year? Just bring out a, a cake with no candles? Yeah, I guess. Talk I about guess. a no icing cake. <laughs> Call back. Um, so, so it looks like this had been going on for years. She had been kind of trying to like make relationships and get out of it. And her mom kept kind of stopping it. She eventually figured out how to like get on the internet without her mom knowing. So like after yeah. her mom would go to bed, she would go on. So she met the boyfriend on By a By the way, Netflix is fucking working their ass off right now to get this documentary it's already, out. Well, the, the sh- they made a show on Hulu about that, about this, like a, like a fictional, um, it's about her or it's like, it, literally her story. like scripted. Yeah. It came out already? Like, like two years ago. What? Yeah. Because what? The reason this is in the news right now is because this girl, so we'll, we'll get here, but basically, okay, yeah. so she, also meet, we're doing a, cr- a crime podcast. Yeah. Right we're now. a true crime podcast. I kind of like it. No, yeah. no, first of all, I do like it and we'll cut this. If this is too much, Easy. <laughs> we find a crazy crime. He reads it. We go, whoa, crazy. This is awesome. Yeah, but it's not uh-huh. funny. Yeah, I mean, but, you can make it funny, but not this. Can't, can't, but how, this is, let's do another. Sith crime. This is so easy. Game, uh, find some crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, he reads yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And we go, whoa, insane. What's your name? That's Gypsy every Road? fucking, I know. yeah. We're working too hard. We're spewing out hours of comedy for no fucking no reason. One, yeah. No, people do care. People care so and much. They're listening right now. Yeah, but when we start doing Fridays, our ghost stories, woo! So, uh, dude, are you- Stiff socks after dark. We, we there was a man with a bridge, with a bridge. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Uh, so she meets this guy on a Christian dating website. Um, what the fuck? He has a criminal record uh, for indecent exposure and a history of mental illness. I like this guy. Um, she. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! How do you like this guy on a Christian mingle site? No one. This guy is a is a record. Well, I guess you don't have to submit a record. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I think I also just think they're looking for applicants. They're like, we're just trying to be able to hinge. A hundred percent. Okay. Um. So eventually, this the they, they get into a relationship. She, what age did she put for her dating profile? That's a really good point. I'm unsure. Not just this emoji. Like me. <laughs> um, so they meet on there, and they meet then on she's there, like, she spills what's everything your, to her like, astrology sign. Also, also, my mom's a bitch. Also, yeah, I don't have mustard for me. So. Yeah, so, so wow, this is fascinating. So 2015, so it how, looks like it happened. Um, they 2015 is when they got her, or that's when they met. That's when they. That's when she got got. The mom. Who got got? Yeah, the, oh, the mom got oh, got. The mom's been out for like dozens yeah, of years. Ago. So so JFK. Uh, yeah, got it. Um, so how do they it do was it? A gun? No, it was uh Oh, this is where it gets dark. It was a knife. Um, what, what was wild about this too was the boy. So. Uh, okay, so let's we'll come back to this. Basically, the reason that this is in the news right now is because at first, this is when when this hits the headlines, no one knows that she has this Munchausen's by proxy thing. So everyone's like, right. "Holy fuck, this girl and her boyfriend murdered her mom 
and she goes to jail, like whole thing. Yeah. And then they find out what really happened. And now Gypsy Rose has become like a very like sympathetic person because yeah, of course. this is the only option that she thought that she had, right? Like she grew up in this fucked up environment. So she's been released from prison now. Boyfriend's still in prison. I think probably will be for a long time because he also, <laughs> after <laughs> he killed the mom. Boyfriend's still in prison? Yeah. Yeah, this he's, dude. He's the one that <clears throat> did it. She didn't do it. She didn't do it. She gave him the stuff and said, and he said, he, I'll do it. And you know, he's like, yeah, I love you. I want to, I want to help you. Realistically, he's just a crazy person. Like he tr also was like, hey, can we go like have sex in the room after, uh, since I just killed her? And she was like, no, no, no. Like that's not what this is about for me. I almost just threw up. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fucking crazy. Anyway, so she's out of, she's out of prison now. She was just released. And How long she, was she in prison for? I guess like what, let's see, 2015 to 2020. <laughs> Or, um, hold on, I can cut Dude, the guy like being that. locked up is still locked up. But he he did, I mean, he did it. I, I know, but like, in his head, he's probably like, well, I don't know if he's getting the news in there, but he's like, oh, hell yeah, we free. And she's like, we? <laughs> That's true. Um, so she was sentenced <clears throat> to 10 years in prison. Um, wow. Only 10? Yeah, that yeah. seems low. I think it's with the circumstances, right? Like, once they got into the trial and the investigation, it was like, but yes, did, like, you still, like, she didn't do the actual murder, like and, and like then they had like a detective on the case while she was like in jail or something. Like it, it always blows my mind when like she gets unraveled after because they're like, oh, somebody was actively working on this. I mean, bro, in my head, it's like once you're in jail, you're done. You're just like you're in jail. You're I in jail. will bet a million dollars that A24 right now is filming. It's a Matthew McConaughey's a director, hundred percent. And who's gonna play the mom? Kathy uh, Bates. Kathy Bates. I love her. Uh, she's so good. And I think uh, who's gonna play Gypsy? <sighs> Three, two, one. Sydney Sweeney. Bro, I'm naming people right now. Bro, she's so hot. So the way when they filmed um, the actual, I'll show so, you the casting for the Hulu show and then the actual people. But this is the Hulu show. So they had Patricia Arquette play the mom. Wow. Then, this already came out? Yeah, again, this this was like 2018 is when the show came out. Who's that lady? She looks so familiar. That's Patricia Arquette. No, no, not the, the oh. who, who played. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. That actor, actor so now. she's out now. <clears throat> yes. And she's immediately hit TikTok. And I mean, she's yeah. doing numbers. We're talking Matt Rife early 2022. I mean, she's doing yeah. numbers. Yeah. 6.2. Oh my God. 6.2 million. And, and like, Six, she's the only person Six. doing fucking views on TikTok. Dude, 60. This is what happened to our views. She took them. <laughs> Dude, 66.3 mil. Good. She deserves it. She I know. Does, she dude. really she deserves like, more than this. Good for her. Like, she's going to get. I mean, she's she's gonna, gonna be a, yeah, she has public a book, speaker, yeah, book yeah. Um, with uh, fucking Random House, Penguin Random House. Huge, I had no like, idea. I also thought, Gabe, when you said Munchenhausen by proxy, that was one word. <laughs> There's two spaces. Yes, that's uh, three words. Munchenhausen, total. three space by space proxy. Yeah. God damn. Life is tough. You know what else is tough? My dick. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Blue Chew. What is Blue Chew? It's the online, unique, active service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Bless you. But in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. I don't know, Michael, you've been taking any Blue Chew? Yeah. I've been chewing it up. My 2024 is looking hard. Hard. Listen, in a good way. In a good way. All right. And it, listen, it comes right to your door in the street packaging, okay? Your neighbor's not going to know. Your freaking dog's not going to know. He might know because it's so gosh darn hard. He might get in the goddamn way. Anyways, and you don't got to go to freaking CVS or Rider to get it. No, it goes right to your door. And I don't know. How much is it? It's so inexpensive. It's gosh darn free, dude. You just have to pay for shipping, okay? Listen, 2024, we always want to improve our sex life. In any year, you want to improve your sex life. But definitely in the new year, new you, harder cock. Uh, so Blue Chew wants to help. You have a better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and screw it. That should be the freaking thing. I made that up. Uh, and we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That is very inexpensive. That's bluechew.com promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit, again, bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the freaking podcast. God damn. Um, I, see, I I watched, I saw one of these videos on my I timeline. Did too. I, did too. I didn't, I had no idea how old she was, but I, I just knew she was like a child. But she's, how old is she now? That's a good question, dude. That's a crazy story. Yeah, so meets the guy. Guy stabs the mom. Mom dies. She goes to jail, and now she's out because they realize. Too. Wow. And and now she's out because they realize her mom was a crazy one. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you're dating this woman, you can never have a bad day. 
No. No. Oh, man, work's crazy. Oh, yeah? You want to know what's crazy? Oh, yeah? I didn't know how old I was on my 12th grade birthday. I've been in jail for 10 years for no goddamn reason. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad she's out. Like, yeah, me too, yeah. man. It's just like, I oh, hope God, that I'm she so fucking sad has her, some kind of like a, I don't know like how she like has a normal life from here. Like, yeah. Not, well, like, you, know you turn mean? it into, you find, yeah, I mean, yeah. she's going to. I think, I think the book and the, the speaking the, and the everything. Speaking, and, like, yeah. I, I think she can. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish her Dude. well, man. It's a fucking gnarly story. Like, that. I, see, I didn't. I, I knew only very, very surface level stuff. I thought she was the one that uh, killed the mom. No, yeah, she had the the boyfriend do it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, dude, all of this in 32 years is. Cr I, I mean, what have I done in 32 years? Get verified on fucking TikTok? Who gives a shit? Oh, I have a yeah. cat. This girl has seen some stuff. Yeah. Wow. Oh my. God. Yeah, but I'm I'm very very. What did the mom look like, or do I not want to see? I think you could probably conjure in your brain. Yeah, like a tub of mayonnaise, probably. Pudding. Yeah, so here's pictures. You can tell, like again, like she thought, and so oh yeah, it's my. the whole thing's really sad, man. Like, yeah, this is really really sad. Wow, she's looking great now, though, dude. She seems like she's like healthy and like smiling, you know, fucking. Yeah. Did you want Dancing with the Stars tomorrow? Yeah, wow. she's a husband. Wait, what did the what does the dude look like? Oh, I didn't know she was. Married. Oh, great! She married him while in prison. And great, wait, wait, great. she's married to the guy. No, 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 no. What? Well, I almost made me cry. This, I'm so, I'm so happy that she is. Well, her mom's name was Dee Dee. Yeah. Well, Dee Dee dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was late on that. Um. Uh, Dude, so this is a nuts story. Her yeah. husband is a teacher in Louisiana. Um, they uh, met him in prison. Uh, what? I'm just saying, like... Can you imagine bro. him giving you an F on a test? Bitch! <laughs> I mean, there's... <sighs> How do you meet in prison, to be honest? Like, oh, I guess he saw the story. Oh, he was in prison too? Wait. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I think he... I mean, he probably saw the story and sent yeah. him a letter. Um... Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Well, this Whoa. is what's crazy. The reason he sent the letter was because a coworker of his said they wanted to send a, a letter to Joe Exotic after watching Tiger King. And he said that if she writes Joe Exotic, he'll write Gypsy Rose. Oh, wait, what, they were in the same prison? No. No, 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 huh? no. He, he uh, essentially, like, he, they, they're like friends. And, like, the friend was like, I'm going to send a letter to Joe Exotic. Gypsy and Joe were friends? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, uh, I'll paint it. So, we're, we're like, we're friends. We're, like, we're fucking around, right? And then I'm like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do tomorrow, man? I'm going to send a, I'm going to send a letter to, to the guy in, in Tiger King. Yeah. And you have been watching the Gypsy Rose trial, like, not now, but, like, when it was happening. And you had maybe you were like, oh, she's cute, or maybe I would like, I, she has like a nice soul. And you're like, hey, if if you talk to me, you're like, hey, if you write Joe, then I'll write Gypsy. That's that's what happened. They have they have oh. no relation. Like, okay, okay. Gypsy okay. and Tiger oh, I, I, no I thought he was like catfish. I mean, something. but that is a collab and a half. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, so. what a message to get in jail. You ever get a fucking hidden request DM in jail? I mean, that's insane. You have a, you have a mail from who? He's a teacher. Oh, all right. What does he look like? And then I also want to see what the guy the, from oh, the Christian yeah, yeah. website was um, on. What's his name? Ryan Scott. Wow, Ryan man. Scott. Anderson. Dude, this stuff is serious. He looks nice, man. And that's all she needs. She needs like a firm foundation, just like a nice, I don't know what I picture. man. Um, but they see. look like they share good kisses. They look like they play Dungeons and Dragons together, and that's fucking sweet. That was the original guy? Wow. I mean, dude, he I, was on a Christian website. Yeah, he doesn't look, he doesn't look great. But dude, I'm sure she was just happy to just talk to somebody else. Yeah, yeah that's true. I know at that point, like any, you know what I mean? Any human connection. Yeah. How long is he doing in time? So the boyfriend has a, is serving a life sent sentence. Um, wow. This is, uh, this is insanely fascinating and very, very sad, but I'm like, I'm so happy. I, I'm I'm just hopeful that she is happy. Yeah, and ultimately, like, 32 years old, like, I mean, this is an insanely fucked up situation that I'm sure is going to stick with her forever, but, like, 32, you have a chance to start a new life and, yeah. like, you know, try to yeah, and, make Yeah, and of a it. good life from here on out. Yeah. I, I feel like she's going to have everything she didn't before. Yeah. Oh, I think she's, yeah, I mean, she probably already, I mean, brand deals out the wazoo book. Uh, speaking to her, all wow. of that like success doesn't take away from all of, like a life of pain, but 
Um, but she deserves that, that and stuff more. is deep. But I saw people making like memes about it before I even. Uh, but that's just how I get my news now is like memes. <clears throat> yeah, but they weren't. They were. They weren't like mad memes. They were just like ran- I don't even know. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I when you first brought up the name, I mean, I even said it. I I didn't put. I didn't. I didn't know her name. So you said Gyp- was it Gypsy Rose? Yeah. You said Gypsy Rose. It's like it, it sounds. It sounds like a very attractive, you know. Stripper. I'll stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, guys, it's that time. You want to get into some sock talk, secret sock? Let's do yes. it. Okay, we have a sock talk here today from Maddie who says, I just moved to a new city. How do I meet men in the wild? Ooh. I think a great way to do it um, is to pick like a hobby that you really like. Like if you like, uh, you know, volleyball or dodgeball or something like active, um, just, uh, yeah, sign up to like, your local basketball, whatever, and just like meet people like through a common activity. I think that's always like great versus like going to a place where like the whole vibe is to pick up people feels a bit contrived to me sometimes. So if you're just like hanging out at like a chess club or hanging out, whatever your, you know, whatever your uh, hobby is, I think that's always like a nice place, especially, especially in a new place. Cause not only you might be able to meet like a dude or whoever and get a date, you have like like new friends you instantly not instantly but you have like a common a commonality with like you know 25 people instantly yeah i also think you can just if you are on dating apps you can just ask them like hey i'm new in town where where are the places to go what's the cool thing yeah what's the fun i see that a lot in la i mean this is definitely a place where people move to a lot so i see that a lot on dating apps like new to la just trying to figure out the yeah you don't even have to have them show you around if you don't want you could literally just be like hey where are your top five favorite restaurants type bars what what's the wildest activity you've ever done here what are you skydiving those scott you know yeah 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 i think that really um but there's men out there yeah they're out there, and some of them are willing to do crazy things, as we just learned. Yeah, someone are gonna just send letters to a, someone in jail. Um, you know where I think is the most underrated place to go pick up men in the wild? Bookstore. I was gonna say bowling alley. What type of men are you wanting this woman to get with? Think. Yeah, think about it. There, if you're at a bowling alley, chances are, well, okay, like if you're not at the bowling alley on a date, right? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. there because you care about sports. You have mm. strong hands. You the hands I'm in. Um, <coughs> have uh, something that you're passionate about. Like guys with that go bowling generally, like they have their own bowling balls and stuff. So it's like they have a hobby. Mm-hmm. Um, there's already like food and drinks there. But just imagine some guys about a bowl of 300. And you're like, hey, stud. He's like, the fuck out of here. <laughs> Plus, a lot of times, like they're on like bowling teams and shit, and those have like fun names, and they have their <laughs> friends there. So yeah, yeah. Just don't count it out. Books are underrated. I'm telling you, a bookstore or like a quiet. Coffee shop. My brother has reinvigorated my theories on picking up people in the wild. My brother will not get on a dating app. He goes to this coffee shop he likes and he like reads or does some work, whatever. And he just kind of keeps his eye out. And he just like, if he thinks that someone's like cute or like they get to talking about a specific book they're liking or whatever, like that's, that's his like vibe. Treats it like it's a dating app, like out in public, a girl walks in. He's like, no, no. (laughs) I mean, that was next. That was a whole show on MTV. Um, all right guys. Yeah. In public do it. It's scary. It. Is, I just want to say this real quick. It is so, 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 so scary. But, um, but it is. You, you can do it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the secret sock. Excuse me. I thought you were talking about the secret sock. Oh no. It was like a secret sock. You're like, oh, it's scary. Oh, sorry. No, yes, no. meeting new people fucking blows. Um. All right, guys. But in a year from now, you'll be looking back. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. You'll feel comfortable in the place. It'll be great. Um. All right, secret sock guys. Anonymous submission. This says. This is messed up. I just got back from my honeymoon and I did not have sex once. Damn. Wow. So that's just a moon. <laughs> wow. Hold on. What? Well, where did you go? I, the, the, I need Kuwait. <laughs> I need more context. I need more context. I mean, dude, dude so- imagine being blue balled, flying back from Turks and Caicos. <laughs> I mean, I'm going mile high club with my left hand immediately on that Delta flight. Dude, I'm looking at her ring and saying, give it back. <laughs> I mean, man. No, I need more context. We're here, fucking around. Here, but yeah. I, but I, 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 need, I need a little more context. I mean, it, maybe like maybe they were like 
fight. Like, if it was like a normal thing and everything Bro, was happening, was supposed lucky, to be like. I, that's where he. I mean, he has to have fucked. Like, that's I know what I mean, he's. That's he what wrote I mean. in. He's listening. We love you. You probably <laughs> fucked up. Like, she should be so. She's. Uh, yeah, but like. But I'm saying I need, on, I need more context because. If it was like a happy-go-lucky Turks and Caicos, whatever, and you're there for a week, and you just like every night, she's like, "Oh, I have a headache. Oh, I'm tired." Then okay, then what's happening? But like, if some like wild thing, ha- like if yeah, there was like yeah, fighting yeah. or or something happened at the wedding that carried over, how or long something. were they there? Because if they're only there for like 24 hours, they should be like, "I don't give a fuck. We can fuck the rest of our lives. We got to pack in all the the tourist events, and sure. we want to got to do this." And- sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I, I, I would I, that would be the only thing on my mind I, we would be having breakfast and be like do you, you want to go tandem bike riding I went no, to the gym I want to go on a my ass. single bike me and you sit on my lap yeah that's got to be interesting I keep picturing that the guy that wrote in is the guy that uh, did the wedding vows in the TikTok we watched last week. Remember the guy yes. that's like, yes. like that yes. guy was not getting laid on. Yeah, that's what I mean. Someone, someone yeah. might have gotten carried over from the wedding. Yeah, Dude, and I'm that's not saying you crazy. didn't eat anything. It might have just been whatever. But like, imagine they got the honeymoon suite and everything. Yeah, imagine if they have a fucking hot tub in the shape of a heart. Drink my bath water. And he's just in there jerking off. Salt burn. We did it together. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What would you do? You're the you're three days murder. <laughs> on the dance floor. Save me. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. I didn't let you walk me through it. Go ahead. I, I, I guess you're, you're in this position. You're Let's say you're going to Hawaii for three days. You hate Hawaii. You're wrong. We're going. It's the best place in the world. It's you're awful. The, you're an idiot. Oh, good. You're the, pineapple. Shut up. They got coconuts, coconut oil. I'm in. Hawaii is the greatest place on earth. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you're there. Yep. Three days. Okay. Honeymoon. Yep. You're in love. Yeah. You said I do. You and also, I was happy about it. You signed a check for $72,000 for, for a wedding. Pot roast. I don't fucking know. The wedding. You, the, you, you went through the whole oh. wedding, the rigmarole. Yeah. You love that word. I love this movie. And you're there. And it's like, you know, the first night you're like, oh, whatever. We're traveling. We're tired. Second night, oh, I'm still full from dinner. Third night, you start to like. Here's try- an emodium. A what? An emodium. I'm full. Here's an emodium. Is that the shit? Enema? Uh, it's like for gas. gas. Oh. Yeah. And and, and you like put a hand on her like and oh, what are we trying to you know you get a little yeah, cute yeah, you start yeah, kissing yeah, on the yeah, neck yeah. she's all about it and then she's like ah not tonight I mean listen man <laughs> listen no no I'm being serious okay so there's I have two two sides if you're like if you're not in the mood or whatever like all right like I'm not gonna be pissed but at the same time like isn't this sort of half the reason why we're here. I'm trying to come in Hawaii. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. What well, like real answer? I would no. be, I would be like, no, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would literally be like, we need to have like a discuss. Like, what's what's wrong? This doesn't seem. Yeah, we just got married. We're supposed to be like the most yeah, loving. But, like, yeah, but yeah, but also like, okay? yes, but also like, if you're. Like specific, like specifically me, like I'm most likely gonna. I brought marry. the sex pillow. That's what I mean. Like I'm, I'm. Well, you'll see. This is exactly what I mean. Like, at, like I'm probably <laughs> the cock going ring to, is to on the charger. I mean, literally, they're on me right now. That's why I keep going. Ugh. So, but I'm probably gonna marry someone like with a, a high sex drive. So it's gonna be, it's going to be an, an odd, an oddity if we're there. So something's wrong. Right. Right. So it's not this. So I'm gonna be like, what is 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 it okay? Like, do you want to? You know, yeah, I, I would love to interview this guy. Was he making moves? How long were they there? Where did they go? Well, that's also because you, you take her to Albuquerque. Ain't nobody fucking there. Actually, I think they do fuck more there. Yeah. If he's like, you know where we're going? David's Bridal. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Wow. That's what I'm saying. Something that's, happened there. That's tough, man. But hey, it, it, it happens. And nobody's in the wrong there. Well, well, no, you know, you know, you are right. No one's in the wrong, but the wrong thing, the thing that didn't happen that should have happened was some type it of communication. Like no, yeah, communication, because now they're both in their head. Maybe she's like, why didn't he make a move? And then Correct. you're like, why didn't she fuck a top? And then you're just both. Yeah. Frustrated. Yeah. On, dude, the plane ride home. Turbulence, I'm coming. Yeah, well, the plane ride home, you know, the person, she's like, how are you? How am I? How am I? I'm one Backed sneeze up. away from putting nuts back on an airplane. Oh. These jeans are too tight. I came. Wow, that's, that, that's, you know, but hey. Life, man. You know what? Hey, life. That's why God gave you two hands. And a foot. Two of them. God. That's a podcast. Happy 2024. Guys.
Thank you for uh, an amazing 2023. I don't know if we even got to say it last time. Well, yeah. we had Riley on. What we had Riley read on last episode. Go listen. She's so funny, so charismatic. She popped out on my birthday as a surprise guest. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening. Yeah, that's uh, I echo all those, and we really, really appreciate your support as always. And that is a podcast, and we love you guys. And uh, yeah, come see Mr. Wallace or Mr. Boston on tour. And if you're not a part of the Stiff Sucks Plus or Patreon, definitely go sign up, tell a friend, and uh, we love you. Till next mother freaking Wednesday, got a big old dick.